again. Well, we woke up this morning in Heiligen Blues. So we're headed to the ends. Then we've got a pretty decent climb, 4,000 feet or so, three or 4,000 feet. Here we go. Over the Isos Big Pass. Eleven hundred and twenty-three feet so far today. Just entered Tirol. We just got out of the ends, and now we're headed to where we will make a left turn up into those mountains somewhere where there's a little place that has our name on a piece of paper that says we get to sleep there, take a shower, and have breakfast. So hopefully we'll end up there. All right, we got off the highway. Found this bike path over here that's well known for everybody wanting to go the opposite way that we're going because it's all downhill, which means it's all uphill for us. Hi, Lisa. How are we doing today? Good today. Good. What are you doing back there? <laughs> I am paddling. <laughs> but we are in the Dolomites. We are in the Dolomites. We're riding on a bike path that's super crowded. Super crowded. And we're the only ones except for one person that we've oh. seen go in this direction. Here comes a, pave, a pavement problem. Pavement problem? Yep. Yeah. We've seen thousands of people on this trail. All going down. about a 2,000 foot climb and about a 1,700 foot descent and we're on the shady side of the mountain which is a great thing so here we go
All right. It was a great climb. We're almost to the pass. So one pass. We might still have a thousand feet to climb. Okay. But we're not sure. Good things come to those who climb, says Lisa. So far, we have been given a treat with beautiful sights. We are on the top now. detour that Google's been showing all the way around. So we got there and there was a gate but it was open and we went just a little bit further and they had a landslide and the road was fairly well trashed. So we did have to go back and take this alternate route which so far hasn't been too bad. Bring it in the hay. <laughs> <laughs> 